welcome back everybody as we have created this uh, layout and we are working on that but at this moment we need to create the database for this uh, project and also the tables that we will be using uh, for storing the data the information so basically we need to create a table uh, sorry a database and inside that we need to create the necessary folders at the moment we need in order to save categories products and in, and in brands and things like that so very simply you can go to localhost you, when you write localhost as you have already installed XAMPP so that creates this thing this uh, interface is of XAMPP inside it you can find the PHP my admin at left side you can observe below if you click this it will take you to this PHP my admin where you can actually manage all of your databases you can create new database you can delete databases you can create tables inside the database so this is all the PHP my admin for managing your databases and you can directly write localhost and PHP my admin in the address bar so the same thing will appear so here you can uh, click this databases section it will show you how many databases you have already inside this MySQL section and if you want to create just simply give uh, you know write a name over here and create the database so we will be creating a database for this project which name will be e-commerce basically and the type will be collation just will click create after creating the database you can see it over here in this list as well you can find e-commerce and e-commerce here after you click this e-commerce so it says no tables found in database so we need to create some tables the first table will be for products what we need in the product uh, means some information that we can add the number of columns so we can save the information and all of the columns inside this table table name is products so what we actually need uh, basically uh, the title of the product image of the product category of the product brand of the product keywords for that product so someone can search as well description for that product price for that product and uh, a product idea will also be required basically we need to add eight columns we can you don't worry we can add the columns later on or uh, can also remove the columns from this table but at the moment we need eight columns at least eight columns just click go and after that you can make the settings for this table so the name of the fields the, the columns name will be something like uh, this product underscore ID this will be the first name the first field name second will be the product underscore title third will be product underscore cat means the category of the product fourth will be category brand actually this will be here after the product ID and this one will be there here and fourth will be product underscore title after that we will say product underscore price and product underscore I mean DESC means description and product underscore image and product underscore keywords we can add some keywords as well we can add more uh, some more columns as well like product status or product date or things like that but at the moment we will just add these eight things the first will be the first column type will be integer and value will be 100 because this is actually the product ID that will be that length will be 100 and it will be auto incremented and will assign a primary key so that will bring you know auto increment mean it will be automatically incremented uh, incremented when a new records 
is inserted so that's it product cat will also be uh, integer product brand will be integer title will be 255 and watcher price will be actually integer 100 pixel and uh, description will be text 200 pixel and product image will be simply text 100 pixel and keywords will also be 200 pixels sorry 200 will be the value and type will be text that's all for this table the field names are given now just come and click the save button all will be saved just click it the tables is created and saved you can check out its structure over here this is the structure we will be adding or inserting data into it now we need to create another folder go to e-commerce create another co uh, sorry another table categories and we'll give it just two columns go one will be cat underscore id and the second one will be cat underscore title this will be text and first will be integer and first one will be auto increment it and simply primary key so we'll save category id into this and get title to the second in the second column so basically the category id will be auto incremented whenever a new cutting category will be inserted so that will create add a new number to that save this is another table one more table we need to create brands this will also have only two i mean two columns click go brand underscore id and brand underscore title this type will be voucher no sorry text 255 and this 100 this will also be a to increment it and primary key brand underscore id save that's it three of the tables that we require at this moment in order to work insert the data and display back that data on this website and main website and the products here the categories here and the brands here because these are basically static links so we need to change this to dynamics one and also to display products here so for that purpose we have created this three tables brands categories and products and next video we will be actually first of all adding some brands and categories to these two tables and products to this table using uh, a text editor no sorry a post editor stay tuned